Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Claudia. If you're new to my channel, I hope you'll subscribe and if you like my video, please give me a like. So today what I'm going to be doing is I am going to be talking to you about how I am able to afford luxury because by no means am I someone who just sits around and gets all these items here. I mean, I work really hard for these items, but I'm also a really good bargain shopper. You know, I like to bargain. I try to look for sales. I have no problem with pre-loved items. I oftentimes I will find things pre-loved or I will try the outlets. I mean, I do a lot of different things in order for me to be able to afford this type of lifestyle. So I did just want to share with you the top seven things that I do to be able to afford this lifestyle. So I'm going to go ahead and just get started. So the first thing that I do is my husband and I have a monthly budget. So we did decide on a monthly budget, more like an allowance where, you know, that money is, that money goes towards things that I want. If I want to buy new shoes or if I want to buy some, you know, new items, or if I want to save my money month to month and have it roll over and then save for a bag, that's really how we do it. You know, by no means can I just shop and buy whatever I want. I mean, we're on a budget, so we do stay on a budget. And that to me, for me, it works really, really well. If not, I think my husband would probably divorce me by now if I was just buying and buying and really did not have some type of budget. So again, one great way to be able to afford luxury is get on a budget and come up with the budget. If you have a spouse, come up with the budget, how much you want to spend every month towards, maybe it's clothing or shoes, accessories, makeup. I mean, you decide on that amount, what fits your budget. But for me, my, for myself, I, I went ahead and my husband and I both have an, a monthly budget and there are months where I don't use my budget, my monthly budget, and it just rolls over to the next month. And sometimes it's a great way for me to be able to save for other things that I want, especially if I'm looking looking for to buy a new Louis Vuitton bag or a Gucci bag. That's the way I do it is by using my budget. So number two, the other things that I do to be able to afford this lifestyle, especially with my designer items, is that I do uh, buy items like on certain websites like Fashion File and Trade Z and some of the Rebag and Real Real and things like that. Those are you know, companies that are reputable that you can buy a designer item. And sometimes you'll get really lucky and you'll get a really good deal. You know, it happened to me not too long ago where I saw a promo code that popped up on TradeZ and I was able to use the promo code and I saved a hundred dollars on an item that I was looking at for a while. But you know, in my opinion, I think those are really good websites and they're reputable and you can trust that whatever you get is going to be authentic and you don't have to worry about that. But again, another way to be able to afford this lifestyle is consider pre-loved. I mean, everything that I have in my closet is not brand new. Some of the items I have have come from pre-loved, you know, from other people who've had them or I bought them from some of these reputable websites. Number three, what I do sometimes is I will shop at the designer outlets. I mean, if you look up online, I mean, depending on where you live, you know, I, I'm, I'm very fortunate that I live close to an outlet, which is good and bad, but um, I do live close to a designer outlet. So what I'll do is I'll look, you know, if there's an item that I've, I'm watching or something that I really want, I will go to the designer outlets and I will try a designer outlet item, you know, just as a heads up, not all the items that are at the Gucci outlet are items that come from the boutique. So it's just something to consider. If you do want an item that came from the boutique, you do have to keep a close eye and know your merchandise and know your items. You know, not too long ago, I found a really nice bag at the outlet that was actually at the boutique about a year or two ago. And I actually got the item for less than 50% off because it made it to the outlet. So sometimes you will get lucky and get some boutique items, but just something to think about. I did recently find out that, you know, St. Laurent, YSL, you know, they don't have any specific items that are made for, for their outlet stores. So everything in their outlet stores actually come from the boutique. They were at the boutique at some time. So that is what I found out from a sales associate. I mean, don't quote me on it in case I'm wrong about that, but that is something that was shared to me. So just something to think about. And number four, what I do is I clear out my closet often, you know, once a year, sometimes twice a year, I'm clearing out my closet and sometimes it's every season. I clear out my closet and I go to the consignment shop. I do have a local consignment shop here in town and I believe most cities do. You know, that's a great way to, to make some of your money back, especially if you've already invested in these items, maybe trying a consignment shop would be good. You know, I recently went to a consignment shop and I was really surprised. 
I had taken probably about 35 items to the consignment shop and I ended up getting about $300. So, I mean, every little helps. And again, that's money that I put towards my designer items. So just one extra way to make a little bit of money and be able to reinvest in some of the things that you want. And number five, I hope I'm saying this right, but it's the Rakuten app. It's a great cash reward app that, you know what, I absolutely love this app. So the way this app works is you sign up and you link your card and any store that you shop at, say it's Walgreens or CVS or Neiman Marcus, if you shop at those stores and you register through this app or this account, what happens is you get rebates. And interestingly, just recently, not too long ago, I actually purchased an item from Neiman Marcus and the item was, I'm trying to get the exact number for you. So I actually bought a bag and it was 1400 and it was $1,490 is what I paid for the bag. And I ended up getting $149 cash back because the way Neiman Marcus is set up is anything that you buy on Neiman Marcus, you get 10% cash back. So if you're buying something that's $2,000, I mean, you're getting $200 right back into your account. And it's not like they give you the rewards and credit. You actually get the money deposited into your account. And right now, the way I have it is I have it set up on my PayPal. And that's really what I do with all of my purchasing and all of the things that I do to, to, to support this lifestyle and to be able to buy is all through my, my actual PayPal. And that's the really cool thing about this app is that you can actually have your rewards dropped right into your PayPal account and there's free money. I mean, you know, recently, like I said, I mean, I had $149 put into my account just for, you know, using Neiman Marcus. So it was actually interesting because the item that I bought was a Valentino bag that actually had the same item on the website and I almost bought it on the Valentino website, but I thought, you know what? It might come with a nice box or I can just buy it through Neiman Marcus, and not get a Valentino box and save $150. So I went that route instead. I didn't really care about the pretty packaging. Wasn't even sure if Valentino would send me a box, but I thought, you know what? I don't need the box anyway, and I don't need all the pretty packaging. I'll use Neiman Marcus. I got 10% back, and anytime I shop through Neiman Marcus, I get 10% back in cash in cash rewards. So just something to think about. Find an app like that. And what's really funny is that my husband and I, even now I shop at Walgreens or Walmart or wherever I go, I have that app linked to my card, and I'm getting reward points all the time. Alta's on there. If you're someone who shops at Alta, I believe it's 3% cash reward that's another one where I'm you know my ten dollars here five dollars here that all adds up so just something to mention and number six you know I some of the change that I have laying around the house that's something that I actually take to the bank I try to do that every year or so and sometimes I have fifty dollars a hundred dollars in change I have kids that are coming in and out of the house they leave change everywhere and I'm very happy to collect it and at the end of the year, I'm able to cash it in. And if it's $100 at the end of the year, hey, it's $100 that I can reinvest into my, into my handbags and all of the designer items that I love. And number seven, the last one, you know, what a lot of people do is, you know, you'll, they'll have their full-time jobs, but maybe they pick up an additional job. Maybe it's something that doesn't require a lot of time. Maybe it's the Rodan and Fields or Pampered Chef or something like that. You know, one of the reasons why I started this YouTube channel was because my hope, of course, my first initial reason was because I wanted to be able to share just my opinion and be able to offer some suggestions and some feedback and just be able to give you honest reviews. But in addition to that, I thought, well, you know, if if this you know channel works out well and I do very well and people like the material that I'm providing and you know maybe I'll get you know lucky and I'll be blessed enough to be able to someday someday make some money with YouTube and that's really my, my goal you know at the end of the day if I can't make any money off of YouTube I'm totally fine with that but I again I mean some people are finding those side hustles where maybe it's Pampered Chef or it's Rodan and Fields or something else. I mean, there are so many little side hustles that you can do. And again, you know, if you make some of that money, that's all extra money that you can use towards your designer lifestyle. But I hope that my video was informative and it gave you a little bit of insight. By no means am I rich or 
I have unlimited funds. I mean, I work very hard for everything that I have. I am a very hard worker. I've had a full-time job since I was about 16 years old and I still have a full-time job plus. And again, you know, I just would love to hear what you guys thought about some of these suggestions. If there are any other suggestions or other things that you guys do, I would love to hear some of those suggestions because they might help me as well. By no means am I an expert in everything. I'm learning the process like a lot of us are. So please, if you have any feedback, I'd love to hear it. But as usual, thank you so much for visiting my channel and I hope to see you next time.